talking about stash work again today and these and I'm, this is one of those videos I was talking about the other day uh, where it's like a companion video so I, what I wanted to do in this video is just kind of show you my own stash so if you don't have the book already it's available at meander and make and some of the distributors as well spiral bound so it lays nice and flat and uh, it's full of pictures things like that all about your stash it's about organizing your stash it's about using your stash it's about creating a stash that you love okay so back to showing you my stash the book goes into this but i don't want you to feel like you have to do anything in any certain way we want to we want to organize stash if you don't thrive in chaos if you thrive in chaos you know let it be but if you feel overwhelmed by too much or you know things like that this could be for you but there are so many different ways to organize your stash and there's no one way i'm going to show you i've got two little parts to my stash and i'm going to show you them organized in two different ways um and i'll go through that in a minute but my stash is in you know this dresser here and then another cabinet unit in there your stash may be in baskets or bins or totes or lined up in a closet keep it or organize it with whatever you have or whatever you need to do uh, and then there's multiple ways of doing that. You can do it by collections. You can do it by colors. Some people do it by cut. I and mean, there's just so many different ways. There is no right way. There is no wrong way. So you are the maker of all the rules when it comes to your stash. Whatever it is, it's fine. Uh, but I just want to show you mine so either you can get an idea of what we're talking about or, you know, maybe get some inspiration or something like that or just to share. I love it when you share with me and I hope you love it when I share with you too. So I'm going to pick up the camera now and walk around with it. So I know a few of you sometimes say it makes you motion sickness. So you may want to turn off now, but uh, I'm going to pick up the camera and show you my stash. Okay. So this is my sewing room, but it also, you know, doubles as the shop. So, uh, you know, you can see all the fabrics and then we have you know, fabrics in multiple rooms. So this is kind of, it's not just my personal studio. This is a fabric shop. Uh, and so it might look a little bit different from what you've got, um, but that, you know, that part doesn't matter. All right, this unit is just an old antique dresser. This is where I keep uh, a lot of my stash. And then I've got, pardon the mess, this unit here where I keep my stash. Now in this unit, because I design fabrics, um, I, I keep, I, I need to keep some fabrics, you know, in collections. So all of my personal, not my personal fabrics, but the fabrics that I designed, uh, they go in this cabinet and they are organized by collection. Now I know a lot of people organize by collection and you would want to organize by collection if you are somebody who struggles putting fabrics together. Um, if you are somebody who, 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 you know, is really, really good at, at mixing matching fabrics, things like that, you may, you may prefer color order. I personally prefer color order, but because I'm running a business of designing fabrics, I'm keeping some of it uh, organized by collection. And then everything here is being organized by color. The reason I like color the best is because I do like to mix and match, uh, in collections. And also having color order, uh, makes me really, really inspired. And I'll give you an example. All right. So here's my oranges and my yellows. I've only got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven drawers. So I've had to combine, you know, colors. And you can see this one is very, very filled to the brim. But all the oranges here, that something about lining fabric up with all the colors together makes me feel good and makes me feel ready to sew, ready to pull fabrics and get to making. So this works for me. Now, you may be different and that's okay. But what I want to show you kind of is how everything is turned where I can see it. So I don't need to go digging in this drawer. Uh, do I want to use this fabric? Do I want to use this one, this one? I can see what they are and I can just pull 
you know, what I want without upsetting the rest of the drawer. There's going to be another video where I talk about, you know, folding fabrics and things like that. But that's kind of the idea is that you open your drawer, your tote, your bin, your basket, whatever it is, and you see everything so that, you know, I can pull this fabric and not mess my drawer up. All right, so that was orange and yellow. This is my low volume drawer. And I know if you've been following me for a while, you know how much I love low volumes. So I have a lot of them. Anytime that I decide I'm gonna make a little miss quilt, I'm ready to go. <laughs> All right, so that's my low volume drawer. This one is colors I don't use very much, purple and black. So they're just kind of, you see, I've got these odd shaped drawers. So I've had to try to, you know, just I'm making do with what I have. It's not a perfect situation like what I'm going to show you in that other cabinet, but it works. Pinks and reds. Uh, grays. This one could use a little bit of more organizing. I think I must have pulled from it recently. I did not tidy up before this video, so my bad. So you're looking at very honest, uh, honest uh, stash look. All right, so that was grays. This is browns and very blue. You know, blue is my least favorite color. So again, I probably should have tidied up. But there is a little look at that. When they're full, they stay put better. I'm gonna show you how I fold fabric later, but you can see them being all this about the same width uh, really makes for tidier drawers. One more drawer. This one is turquoise and green. And there is that one. All right, so that is that is that stash and again it's organized by color i prefer it that way um just because it gives me all the feels makes me feel nice seeing color that way and and i make a lot of uh, monochromatic quilts where we're using one or two colors so this method of organization works best for me all right we're gonna go in here uh this unit is called the dingo it's by aero sewing i was gifted it uh, just for talking about it a, a year or so ago. Um, I love this unit. I will link to it below, but um, this thing has really just been like organization candy. All right, so I've only got fabric in three drawers, but I'll show it to you. Um, and you can see that this drawer is, you know, perfectly rectangle you know, the other drawer had, you know, curves, so it was not at a perfectly ideal situation. It wasn't an ideal situation, but this drawer is. And again, I've got these organized by collection. I, I can pull anything I want out of this drawer without messing it up. And I can usually put, when I have two hands, I can usually put two, put things back in the drawer. Like if I'm tidying, I can put things in this drawer without messing it up. So, Oh, that was a cinnamon tea. Look how much cinnamon tea I've got. Cinnamon tea and then my tiny bit of whole heart that I have left. All right, this drawer. This is earthy goodness. Two columns of earthy goodness. This one is gentleness and lighthearted. My low volume stash builder bundles. And this one is honeycomb, which is fairly new. I've got a pretty decent stash of it already. So that that drawer and then one more drawer so I've got my I've got my garden therapy here I've got someplace grand here and then I've got some peace lily or a lot of peace lily um, so that is a little look at the drawers and how they can look there's the unit I really again I just really like this unit all right so again stash is very very personable it needs to fit you your likes uh the way you, the way you want things to be what works easiest for you and we're all very different people who have different weaknesses and different strengths so what you want to do is you want to find what works best for you and then you know go from there uh i have more companion videos for stash work coming in the following days um and 
uh, if you're subscribed, you'll get a notification every time I put out a video. But links to everything, including the stash workbook, are below this video. Uh, next year, February-ish, uh, we're going to start our quilt along and we're going to work through the whole book. So we're going to be making the quilts in this book. There's going to be four quilt alongs because there's four patterns. But there's also, we're also going to go through each of these things as it comes up. So there's a, several essays about different things. All of that we're going to talk about uh, in those quilt alongs. So if you want to sign up for that, I've also put a link for that as well. Um, I hope you'll join in. It's going to be fun and we're all going to be super organized. Uh, I'll see you next video.